Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. So I noticed uh, the item crafting. We can't do it. But I was correct. The cracked pot is required for crafting cracked pot items. So, you know. Ooh, we can toggle that on and off. Neat. Materials and magic sealed within deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. And it's self-mending, so in theory, it will fix itself probably when we rest at a bonfire. So that I can see being extremely useful. So we can write gold summon signs. Well, hello phone, buzz buzz. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, summon sign for multiplayer, send someone home, or myself. I find the uh, white flames to be interesting. Wow. Sparkles in the air. Ah, Grace. We can fast travel right off the bat. Neat. Hello, you. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. Bloody hands. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Well, aren't you just a rude individual? Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you, tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you, tarnished, to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guide to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff where grace would guide you if you seek the elden ring maidenless as you are well let's just sit on down for a second
Shiny thing. Summoning pools. Okay. So we've got a guy. And we got some blood stains. And he's on a horse. And I'm not. Framey. Maybe I would have been better off playing this on PC. <laughs> they roll around. That's phenomenal. Goodness. Game. What's with the frames? What are you doing? There's a donkey. There's an item. Oh, Grace. There are some dungeons in other areas where this cannot be done. Cool. Spiffy. Time for crab. Merchant, hey. Santa. You're tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by... They got a twin blade. Since the Ooh. Of the Elden Ring, it's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. You know, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. I want that. Kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. So what's the donkey's name, and why didn't you tell me? I'm gonna name him Sam. Kale and Sam. Cracked pots. And a crafting kit. It's only 300. That's not a lot. Cookbooks. Expands crafting repertoire. Ah. Interesting. Very interesting. Reveals co-op and hostile summon signs. Interesting as well. I'm going to be coming back to you. Okay. No smithing stones to strengthen armaments. Makes sense. All right. We ran past the guy on the horse. Um... Small number, 400. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize I even had that many to begin with. Jeez. What's it? I'm buying things. This is mine. And that's mine. I'll be honest, a torch is probably a good thing to have.
do I have to use? No, just having it. Because it looks like it's on a different level. Okay, good. So what can I make? A fire pot. So fire bomb, rope fire bomb, darts, smoldering butterflies and mushrooms, raisins, ah, and you can feed them to torrent, restores health. So I don't need to buy that from him for a thousand. I can just make it. All right. Well, I spy a guy with a torch. I've seen this meme. People posing as this guy patrolling back and forth. Sneaky. You're dead. I wonder if sweet spots are a thing with weapons in this game. And the game is a bit framey. It can't stay at a solid 60. I wonder if there's something that I can adjust. Already on prioritized frame rate, and it's this bad sometimes. Yikes. PlayStation 5 is not really doing as well as I'd hope as far as keeping a solid 60 frames. There's a guy up there. Friend or foe? We will see. Hawk, not guy. No. Stop your zooming. I don't like mosquito-y things. Although you don't seem like you're actually trying to hurt me. You're funky looking. What are you? Oh.
Nifty. So, what's that thing? I am getting so distracted by literally everything I'm seeing. And that's kind of great. Okay, that's where I was. Darn, I missed it. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. You're a creepy looking one, aren't you? And you have a white flame as well. Ah. Well. Well. Got things down there. That's a flower. All right, let's stay on a single task for 10 seconds here. So, creepy guy is up there, shining a light on this way. Shiny. You're dead. No, oh, my bad, guys. Now look at the rabbit looking thing. Those are cute. But it looks like if I did go down that direction, I'd be able to get down to the beach. And whatever the hell those things are. And whatever's causing those footprints that's currently invisible for me. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I wonder what the hell that is. Well. Sunflower? So we just have a wall here. We don't just have a wall here. We have a door. Key ahead. Not key required ahead. Good to note. Very good to have that bit of intel. Proper death means returning to the Erd tree. 
Okay. Well, dude, you're you're a ghost, so you didn't have a proper death, I guess. Oh, you are a rude individual. Come on, attack me. Mm. I like those counters. I like those counters quite a bit. Not gonna lie, I'm getting some uh, kind of chalice dungeon vibe here. You gonna come down here or are you gonna be a coward? Not good timing. Not good timing. Now. Try attacking. Oh ho. Rattling pate, hello. Is that what I think that it is? Not item crafting, but inventory. That's not quite as good, but I can accept it. So that's why it said try a bow, because you could probably shoot these things. Look all right. Whoa, oh, oh. close. Why did you say be wary of left? You, sir, are a liar. Unless it's. Oh, geez. Oh, that's bad. Shit. Four of them. I tried to climb up, or uh, rather be uh, raised up on the lift to escape and it did uh didn't do the thing well it did but i got knocked off okay well we died we knew it would happen at some point in time it's a from software game am i a little upset by it yeah didn't expect that big of an ambu an ambush honestly
Thought I heard the other one dropping down. Convenient. I don't think I can make this. Nope. see you, but I have nothing I can hit you with. Ah, but wait. Yeah, what are you going to do about that, huh? Not cool. Ah, smoldering butterfly. That was one of the things I need to make a uh, firebomb, right? Little gargoyle things are uh, really annoying. Or what were they? Imps? Yeah, annoying. Need to really keep an eye out. Like, they're not too bad if you can see them coming and block and do exactly what I'm doing right here. But they're not great to deal with. Why is it always down? What's well, always down? And there's a glowy thing down there. Didn't expect right. You gonna come to me? Yeah, you are. Come on now. Don't be shy. One of you is going to come over here. Both suck. There we are. Yeah, well, how do you like that? With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Okay. Wandering noble ashes. Try gesturing.
Neat. Does nothing. This said, why is it always down? So... This looks like an easier drop to make. We'll take it. Aha, a lever. One lever. Give it a pull. That'll probably open up that door. Oh, I see you. Take that, you fiendish little menace. Did it do the thing? Oh yeah, it did the thing. Calling it now, I am sensing a boss. And we're so close to the grace. There's no enemies in between. There's no reason not to do this. Ooh, actually... The, uh... Okay. So it's not a spell. Is it an item? Talisman? No. So it costs focus points to summon spirits. Gotcha. How do I do it? It said something about a bell, and I don't think I have the bell. Or I just can't do it in this area. That might be a possibility. I don't honestly know. I really have no clue. Totally called it. Very Chalice Dungeon vibe. Let's traverse the mist. Um, FromSoft, that's a cat. <laughs> that's a derpy looking... Oh, jeez. Not a good time to parry. Oh, it floats. Stamina management. It's the name of the game. Ooh, he do be spinning. Glowy weak spot. Not all that weak, mind you. Oh, he's doing something. He's breathing fire. Looks like he's doing it again. Can I attack him while he's doing this? Oh, jeez. This is... Head just turns around. That's creepy. I don't like that. Uh... Top off. I'm not going to whiff this here. Come on, hit me. There we go. Easy. Noble Sorcerer Ashes. So we got two different sets of ashes, and I can't use them because I don't know how. Return to entrance. Nifty.
Yeah, very, very Chalice Dungeon kind of vibe right there. I like it. We're going to rest at this side of Grace. Call it there for the for the uh, video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a good time. Nice little uh, Stormfoot Catacombs. I like this. I, I like the little dungeons. They're quite nice. Either way, thank you all for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.